good Sunday morning to everyone. How's everybody doing today? As promised, I said I was going to upload another video. However, of course, I'm not on camera. I decided to just, you know, do it a little bit easier for myself today. After all, it is Sunday, a little bit of a day of rest. But I would like to talk to you about some stuff. I'm trying to find my Sunday music. Where are you, Sunday music? Hang on for a second. I don't hear you through the computer. Hope it's going to come out well. Well, if you hear it and see it, whatever, that means it did. <laughs> if not, then it's just like a little bit. Well, I don't know. I'll have to check it out. Hey, everybody. I'm Jan. I love helping people keep some of their own heart or money. I want to talk to you today about how subtle changes have been happening to us. Well, all of our lives, number one. But let's just say this. Can you even believe? Okay, as I record this on August 6th, and a friend of mine from grammar school has a birthday today. I don't know if she is listening to this. If so, happy birthday to my friend from grammar school. <laughs> anyway, can't believe it. Every time my friend's birthday rolls around, I always know, always, always know that this to me demarks towards the end of the summer. Ooh, 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 ooh. Did you get in all the summer stuff you wanted to? You still have a bit of time, but it is dwindling. Hard to believe. And that's what I want to talk to today about. Changes. Now, technically, since June 21st, which for some reason seems like about two seconds ago, but, well, technically it was, well, a couple of months ago, almost a couple of months ago. But it went so fast, didn't it? As of June 21st, we have been losing a minute of daylight. Now, at first you're like, eh, you don't notice it. And I even made mention of this maybe a few weeks back. But I think it's worth repeating because as I was waking up this morning, I'm like, wow, it's still dark. What? I had gotten used to it, to being lighter when I wake up in the morning. And now it's starting to get that, you know, like, towards the end of the summer feel. Ugh. I mean, don't get me wrong. My favorite months of the year are the burr months, you know, the BER months, September, October, November, and of course, December. Yay. So many reasons to love December. Love, love, love December. And I love November too. I do. I, do. I love all of the burr months. What could I say? But the point I'm making here is this. Okay, so June 21st, the clock is always ticking. That means the clock is always ticking in our hearts, in our minds, and in our lives, okay? Remember when you were really, really young and a year felt like maybe like the way it would feel two to three years when you get older? To me, as I have gotten older, I don't know about you, maybe you feel the same way, but to me, as we are getting older, does it not seem as if Time is going by so much faster. This is a good time to take stock of things. This is a good time. Like I asked you a couple of minutes back, did you get to do all those summer things that you were planning on? Summer is a fleeting thing. So is fall and even winter, although many times in the winter, it feels less fleeting than the summer or the spring, right? Or the fall. <laughs> That's just how it works. But things come and go. Little by little, insidiously, you don't notice it the first seven days after June 21st. Still looks early light to me, right? But I happen to notice usually because I pay attention to stuff like this. Don't ask me why, but I do. However, July 4th, I notice every July 4th, it starts to feel like oh, it's starting to get light a little later. And, Days growing slightly short. I mean, ever so. Not a read. I mean, honestly, barely noticeable. Barely noticeable. But now, 
today, August 6th, on my grammar school friend's birthday. <laughs> just saying, just saying. It is noticeable. What does this have to do with the price of fish? Although I'm not talking about fish. <laughs> How many of you out there like fish? I'm not a particularly huge fan of fish. I'm not. Except like fish that doesn't taste like fish. I know a lot of my close friends laugh at me about that. Okay, you'll eat the fish that doesn't taste like fish. Right. To me, tuna fish has barely a fish taste to me. Or things like flounder, filet of sole. To me, very mild. I do like shrimp. To me, very mild. All right, crab, yes. I tried lobster once, much to my chagrin. It reminded me more of um, squash loaded with way too much clarified butter. <laughs> Don't ask me how I got off on the fish tangent. <laughs> None of what I have to say has to do with fish. <laughs> and if you like fish, it's healthy for you, so good for you. All right, but I do like tuna fish. So there. Anyway, I'm making that official. <laughs> all right. What does this have to do with anything at all? A lot. You know, a lot of times we start off things like we want to lose weight or, uh, for example, or we have savings goals, right? And uh, we think, oh, my gosh. If you think of the end goal, you say to yourself, I want to, I want to save $20,000 in 12 months. I'm not saying you can't do it. If you make up your mind to do anything, you can do it. I mean it. When a person makes up their mind to do something, they will do it. However, they have to want to. Again, it goes back to making up your mind. All right. Now, for those who struggle with, now some people have the big goals and the dreams to even write it down. But some people have a problem between point A, which is the very beginning, and point Z, like zebra Z, which is the end goal. Some people have a lot of problems with B, C, D, E, F, G, H. You see where I'm going with that. Okay. All of us at some point, we may struggle with hitting our end goal. Okay. So what I always like to suggest, I don't give advice. A lot of people compliment me on the advice I give. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate your compliment. I really, really do. It is a really nice compliment. However, I don't give advice. I give my thoughts, I give my opinions, and I give my suggestions, okay? Because I also recognize that we do not live in a one-size-fits-all world. No, 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 we don't. Wouldn't it be easy for me to just write a list? Number one, number two, number three, number four. I do that on some videos. I'm not going to do it on every video. Sometimes I just prefer to just have this little bit of an informal chat and offer my life experiences and some suggestions and some thoughts. There are no absolutes in anything I say. And definitely I love to entertain and try to educate at the same time. By the way, if you have not had an opportunity <laughs> to check out my previous video, if you love strawberries, you will more than likely love the recipe. Thank you, Pat S. again for this recipe, and thank you for letting me share it. I certainly appreciate it. And what I like about it, it doesn't have a lot of sugar. Okay, so that's with that. Now let's go back to the time slipping by, slipping by. It is slipping by. Do you remember at the beginning of the summer, especially when you were a kid, you got out of school, the beginning of the summer felt like endless summer. All those fun days, going to the pool, going to the beach, doing this, doing that, the unstructured feel, having fun, going to camp perhaps, visiting family, going on a vacation with your family, whatever the case may be, or staycation, just having fun, whatever. In the beginning, you feel like, wow, boy, oh boy, I got all this time ahead of me. And even as children, we start learning and start feeling when we see those back to school ads. 
I used to not love it at all when I saw those back to school uh, shoe, school shoe ads. This is in my day. And in my day, because in New York, kids go back to school in September. Okay. A lot of places, a lot of other locations start much earlier than that. But we go back in September. We still do. However, back in the day when they used to start playing those ads by like the third week of August, uh, 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 the realization summer's over, back to school. Although technically it's not over till September 21st. Anyway, but the time is going by. The clock is ticking. Like someone wise said, I heard a person say this about two weeks back. Do you realize it is 1159 and we're approaching midnight? I was like, whoa, <laughs> whoa. That was like, hmm. Are there some things that you say to yourself, woulda, coulda, shoulda? I woulda, coulda, shoulda this. I woulda, coulda, shoulda that. Would have, could have, should have. Hmm. These are all thoughts. Something to think about as the clock ticks. Make the most of every day. Don't waste your time uh, on silly nonsense. I'm not talking about having a little entertainment, getting a good lift. That's, to me, that's fun. And even that, there should be a little boundary. What I mean by nonsense, like wasting your time holding grudges. Wasting your time being angry and annoyed at the stupid stuff, okay? And it's all, I mean, stuff like that, it's just frivolous. To me, it's just a waste of time, okay? Think of it like this. For every hour we waste, let's pretend that that hour is a piece of paper, a colorful piece of paper that we cut out with construction paper. That waste of time. You take that colorful construction paper and write on it, waste of time. What are you going to do with that piece of paper? Guess what? You're going to throw it out in the garbage pail and you're never going to get it back because there is no way ever to recover time. Okay. Money is replaceable. And as much as I talk about saving money and I concern myself with sharing the thoughts of giving everybody a little more security and the things they do financially with suggestions, thoughtful hints, tips, and tricks, even when money is gone, that is replaceable. But guess what? People are not replaceable. Time is not replaceable. So on this Sunday morning, as I record this, unscripted, because I'd rather just like say it as I feel it. That works for me. Everybody's different. Everybody's execution of a show is different. And I commend anybody that slams down the record button to give a message from their heart of hearts. I really, really do commend it. And God bless everyone who is listening. And I want to hopefully wish you the very, very best of this Sunday. Make the absolute most of it. Like my husband said a few years ago in that, that uh, unforeseen hotel that we didn't plan on spending our time with. And you know that story, some of you. He said, Jan, make the best of it. Because that place was like dreadful. And then he said it again. Jan, make the best of it. All right, everybody, have a great week coming up. I look forward to you being there for the Instant Coffee with Jan show every single Monday through Friday, starting at 12.05 a.m. I know, crazy, crazy hour, but it's my birthday, 12.05, get it? So, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and five is supposed to be my lucky number. There you go. Have a great day, everybody. Don't forget to click like, share, and definitely consider subscribing. Bye-bye.